Camels may live in some of the hottest places on earth, but they are some of the coolest and comical creatures that God created. Just one look at their skinny legs, knobby knees, wide feet, humped back, long neck, stretched face, bushy eyebrows, and big floppy lips, and you can't help but chuckle. Just be careful not to laugh at a camel too long. You might irritate him, and if you bother him too much, he might just bite, kick, or even spit at you. Well, it's not really saliva. Camels actually burp up partly digested food called cud and spray their agitators by flinging the greenish gunk from their floppy lips. You may not have to worry about this with well-trained camels, but if you agitate a crabby camel, watch out. Some camels have two humps and live mostly in Central Asia. The most common camel, however, is the one-hump Arabian camel. Have you ever heard that a camel can go long periods of time without drinking because he stores large amounts of water in his hump? It's true that a camel can go long periods of time, days or even months, without drinking water, but it doesn't store water in its hump. God made a camel with the ability to store fat in its hump. A healthy, well-fed camel can have a hump that weighs as much as 80 pounds. When a camel goes on a long journey, often carrying people or supplies, and food becomes scarce, he relies on stored fat for energy. The longer a camel goes without eating, the more stored fat he uses. At the same time, the hump gets smaller and smaller and often begins to hang off to one side. Later, when the camel is able to get his fill of food again, his hump begins to fill out and goes back to normal. How is it that a camel can go days or even months without a drink of water? What have scientists learned about the amazing design of this water-conserving creature? First, a camel can get a large amount of the water his body needs from the plants that he eats. This is especially true in the wintertime when plants hold more moisture than in the summer months. A camel can even get water from eating cacti without hurting his mouth. Can you imagine eating a cactus? A camel can consume such a prickly plant because of the very tough lining in its mouth, so tough that the thorns of a cactus can't break through the skin. Second, unlike most animals, a camel loses very little of his water in the form of sweat. The less water that is available to it, the less it sweats. Third, camels do not lose great amounts of moisture when they exhale. A camel's nose has a special mucus that helps to dehydrate or take water out of much of the moist air coming up from his lungs, recirculating the water throughout his body. Rather than losing great amounts of moisture when it exhales, a camel can conserve as much as 60% of its water. A final reason that camels can go several days without water in the summertime and several months without water in the wintertime is because they can drink so much of it when it does happen to be available. A thirsty camel can drink more than 20 gallons of water in only 10 minutes. Remarkably, a camel's stomach may be empty only a few minutes after taking in such a large amount of water. How can that be? Because the camel is designed with billions of small cells that store all of the water so the camel will have it at a later time when the water is scarce, such as when he's on a journey through the desert. While most humans and animals will become sick and die when losing only 10 to 15% of their body weight in the form of water, not camels, a camel's journey in the desert may be so long and dry that he can lose 25% of his body weight in water, yet still continue on his journey. Amazingly, the camel can keep going because of its well-designed capability to use large amounts of water as much as 40% from its uniquely designed long oval blood cells. Friends, unintelligent, undirected evolution cannot logically explain the wondrous designs of the camel. The cool, comical, water-conserving camel is an amazing creature that testifies to an awesome creator.